Okay guys, this video is going to be about how to assemble the drawer unit for the painting stations. Now when you receive your drawer unit, it should look about like this and be wrapped up in a shrink wrap. And it should include a couple of uh, drawer pulls and a couple of screws. We can put those aside for a moment and go ahead and just open this up. Just peel the plastic away. This card here just identifies what it is. It's a painting station drawer kit, so you no longer need that. This here is an assembly diagram, which um, you might find is sufficient to build this, but you're watching a video, so you're probably more of a visual person and you want a video, and that's totally cool. I understand. I am the same way. I like to see how it's done. So we can just go ahead and put this aside right now if we want. Also, so let's identify the parts that come with this. There are two drawers, and these are them. There's two drawer sides, there's a drawer back, and a drawer front. The drawer front has the hole in it, so that's how we know that's the front. So we can put these guys aside for just a second. There are two of those, they're identical. And then we'll look at the parts that make up the main frame of the thing. There are these three parts here that are identical. And on the sheet that came with it, these are parts number four. And what those are, well, let's, we'll get to what those are in a minute. But there's three of them. This is the back piece. You can tell it's the back because it has two very large holes in it. And the reason for these large holes is that when the drawers go in and out, if you push them in real quickly, you can actually create a little bit of air pressure in there and they'll kind of bounce back a little. This is just strictly a vent hole behind each of the drawers. And these are the two side pieces that go on the outside. You can tell they have a, a notch at this end on both of them and not at this end. The notch end goes towards the back, as we're going to see. Now there's two big old flat pieces here. One of them says right on it, bottom piece. That goes on the, oops, that goes on the bottom. The next one says top piece right there. So that is the top piece. So the way we assemble this, it's actually pretty darn simple. A couple of things you're probably going to want to have handy is wood glue or white glue, whichever you prefer. Um, this can be done with a, a CA glue. Um, the uh, medium or thick is the one I would recommend if you're going to do that. But I really prefer wood glue because this is a wood product, so it works great for it. Also, you're probably going to want a little bit of masking tape. Um, as you'll see when I'm putting this one together, it makes it real easy to hold the pieces where they need to be. A uh, little piece of paper towel that's slightly moist helps out for brushing away extra glue. And that's about all you really need to get started. So the way I would do this is I would start with these three pieces here. They were, uh, they were piece number four on the diagram. You'll notice that the front is perfectly flat and the back has a, a tab on it. So they go in just like this. The only place they can go where there's three slots where they go in. It's very important, uh, I want to uh, just stress again, the top and the bottom are very important. If you're going to use this on a paint station and use a, uh, a paint station light, the light has to clamp on around the lip and that's what these little cutouts here uh, are for so it's very important that this this ends up being the top piece if you're not ever going to use a light I guess it really doesn't matter much and to be perfectly honest whichever way you build it you could flip it over if you did it backwards but okay so let's get to building so we have these three parts here first thing you want to do is just put a little bit of glue on them and clean that off doesn't take a whole lot Again, we want to make sure this tab on the back is facing towards the back. That guy in there. This is the center one. And the last one. You're probably going to be amazed at how quickly this goes. Now, while we're here, before I go any further, I want to talk about these are the places where the drawers are going to slide in. So if you have a lot of glue 
oozing out down here on any of these bottom corners you'll want to go in right now and kind of clean that up because little glue blobs in there will uh, get in the way of the drawer going in so okay we have those guys done now what I'd like to do is put on the back piece. That's this piece with those two big half inch holes in it. So go ahead and put a little glue across here. A little bit across there. Up in there. I try to be real neat and not put too much glue. But if you do put too much, you can come back later and, and wipe it off. But I try to be as neat as I can so we just this goes smoother so okay so this part here is ready to go on the back get those all lined up now you'll want to be using your, your masking tape now take off about four or five smallish pieces and I'll use those to just keep this nice and tight back here. Now these pieces of MDF can have a little bit of warp in them, but once you start assembling it like this, everything pulls together real nice, as long as you're aware of that and you get everything lined up real nice. Okay, so we have the back on. We have these three verticals in there. Now we just have to put on the top. Okay, so now we put the glue on the top of the back here, the top of each one of these three verticals. Now we want to be a little extra careful when we're doing the top of these verticals uh, because I talked about earlier if the glue gets down in the corners it can get in the way of the uh, in the way of the drawer and if that happens right now up in there it's going to be a little harder to get in there and clean that up so you want to kind of just be as clean as you can be here without a lot of extra. So here is the top piece, putting some glue on these edges, and we'll just go ahead and throw this on there, and you got to kind of get these guys lined up, and then it'll just sit right down once you get them, there we go, this guy lined up here. Okay, so now those are lined up. Now we want to do what we did before with the tape. To make sure everything stays nice and tight. And it wouldn't hurt to go all the way from top to bottom. Okay, now while we're here, I want to put some tape across the front until the glue dries on these verticals. We want to keep this keep this closed up tight. A little longer than that. And we'll do one in the center as well. So this thing is almost done. There are two end pieces here that have a little slot in the back they're going to go on right here and, and on the other side so put a little glue on there this one we don't have to be quite as neat because there's no drawer that slides in here but still always try to be neat and just make your life easier so that guy goes on just like that. Wipe off some of the excess. Get your tape. Taping everything together. And we'll do the other side. Same exact way.
And that guy goes right in there. Make me off a little extra. Nice and tight. Okay, so this piece is done. We let that sit for probably about a half hour. Let that glue get good and dry. If necessary, I'm seeing it here. You can place a little bit of weight on there in case something's bowing up in the middle. I'm going to do that right now. So I've got a couple of weights here just to make sure everything stays down nice while the glue dries. So we'll put that aside. And then we've got the drawers. Drawers couldn't be much simpler. Two sides, a back and a front. So let's get these guys put together. I'm going to get some pieces of tape ready. So I'm going to need about three per side. Two for the front, two for the back, and then one for each corner. I think that should be enough. All right, so start with this guy, either one of the sides, or you can start with the back or front. It doesn't matter what you start with. Just start. All right, so we got this guy. Bam, he's on. It's always the hardest one is the first one because there's nothing holding it up straight. So just get this guy on here with a couple of pieces of tape for the moment. And on there real good. Okay, so now that we got one side on, let's do the back. Now it all gets a little bit easier because you've got pieces interlocking with others. So just put a piece of tape there. Now the glue that's oozing out, you can be cleaning it up right now. I sand the exterior of the entire thing when it's done, so I'm not too worried about that glue right now. Because I like to get a nice smooth sanded edge all the way around. It makes them slide in and out a lot easier. So next side. goes that on there okay using a little extra tape I just want to make sure everything is real held together real nicely Last step is the front, the one with the little hole in it. I want to make sure the front gets glued on pretty good because uh, this is what you'll be pushing and pulling on all the time. I mean, you want everything to be glued good, but if you're going to use a little extra glue on something, it probably should be the front. And then you can wipe off the excess. You just want to make sure that that front is glued real nice so you don't just go pulling it right off the front. And looks like I'm short one piece of tape. And the second drawer goes together exactly the same way. I don't think I need to show you that. Once the drawer is done, take out the uh, we got the knobs and the screws. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver. If you have a real short one, that makes life easier. But you can come in at an angle if you have to. And, uh, and you just screw this into the, into the knob from the back side. And then you are all set. So I'll uh, post a picture at the end of this video of what this looks like when it's completely assembled. But that is all there is to it. I'm not sure how long that took, but... 
not very long and probably a little longer because I was explaining everything as I went but that's together this drawers together well with this tape here I can't really show you but obviously it goes in there and like I said I sand the outside of this real nice to get all the little glue boogers out of the way round the corners a little bit just make it so everything slides in real nice and there you go you're all done I'm gonna go ahead and put this last one together but uh, it goes together exactly like the one I just showed you so there you are hope that helps you out and enjoy your drawer unit for your painting station thanks a lot for watching guys